Hey guys, so I want to do a quick little video here reviewing the official Android 5.1.1 update uh, being made available by CyanogenGin 12.1 uh, and uh, it's available now for download and flashing so I will leave a link in the description if you want to get on your device uh, and I think it's being made uh, available to about 2% of users over the air so they can uh, see if there's any issues uh, but you can see that uh, the actual interface has gone through some changes here which are quite interesting uh, if you go into the uh, app drawer you can see it is coming up now with a vertical uh, kind of uh, app drawer here which may get, take some getting used to uh, but certainly seems to be uh, quite interesting here nevertheless uh, I can notice as well you can go to different uh, apps here based upon the letter which is uh, quite cool and uh, there's also quite a few uh, bug fixes in the background apparently like the stage fright bug which uh, a lot of manufacturers have been uh, rolling out uh, bug, uh, bug fixes to fix that uh, also the uh, another change is on the uh, home button on chrome so basically uh, you have uh, basically a bing uh, search facility now uh, because of the uh, increasing Microsoft Cyanogen business links so if we have a look here if, if we can see that uh, just go into Chrome and you can see whoa straight away we're into Bing uh, now that is going to be very controversial to a lot of people uh, because personally you know as much as I love Microsoft etc I don't like uh, Bing that much to be honest so I would probably be looking at a way to get rid of that hopefully they haven't uh, made it so that uh, you have to use that because that would be pretty bad but it looks like you can still use Google here which is quite nice uh, so uh, you know quite uh, interesting change there nevertheless uh, and uh, in terms of uh, other things uh, I think uh, it's mostly kind of like bug fixes here to be honest I've not noticed too much else uh, which is different uh, looking at the device you can still see we do have all of these settings in here like your gestures etc uh, nothing's been taken away which is quite nice uh, we can have a look here at the uh, about phone section so you can see this is the uh, YOG 4 pas one no uh, version so for those of you who want to see the uh, version there and uh, you can see basically the build date is very uh, recent August the 15th uh, I think uh, there's also uh, another smaller update that you can flash on uh, if you're on like Android 5.0 which is like 304 megabytes but I flashed on the larger one here uh, so that I can get a nice clean install uh, so uh, yeah I think uh, that's about covers it really here uh, what I wanted to cover I did do a Antutu speed test uh, of it and I got this score which to be honest I think is actually a bit lower than what I got on the uh, Android 5.0.2 I do remember getting about 49,000 so maybe it's just a one-off but I don't think there's a huge difference here when it comes to the performance gains so do uh, bear that in mind here but you know I think uh, it's good that CyanogenGen is still supporting the OnePlus One here now that we have the OnePlus Two uh, and uh, you know it's not being left behind still feels uh, as fantastic as ever uh, with this uh, fantastic uh, full HD display you know it's not uh, aged at all or anything it's uh, uh, still a magnificent device here uh, if I see anything else you know I might do a follow up video uh, to check that out but uh, yeah just a quick little video here checking out the official Android 5.1.1 from Cyanogen Hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.